Today we are going to be doing a very interesting Power BI challenge. This challenge comes to you from Aji, who happens to be one of the students in my past live training sessions, and he would want to map the dates in the employee lifecycle journey. Now, obviously that title wouldn't make any sense because I created that title for describing the problem, but let's just take a look at the data and hopefully you'll be able to solve it. Let's go. Okay, people, I'm in this Excel file, which is where I have the data. Let me take two minutes to explain you the data and we'll then take a look at the problem that you have to solve. So real quick, we have four columns here, the event, the client, the employee name, and the date. The state is nothing but the start date. Now let's just talk about individual columns and what do they represent? The event actually means the life cycle stage of any particular employee. So if the employee is moving from stage one to stage two, consider events like promotion, training, signing up a new project, things like that. These are all events. This is the name of the client for which the event is happening. This is the name of the employee which is being considered for that event. And this is the start date of that event. Now, obviously, if I talk about the different columns of the data, it would not really make any sense. But let me just actually pick up one particular employee, take you through, through his employee lifecycle journey, and hopefully you'll be able to make sense of the data. Let's just consider Brian Lee uh, for the moment. Now, since this particular data has been sorted in the descending order of the date, so you can see that the smallest date is always going to come at the bottom and the largest date is always going to come at the top. So I'll be reading the data from bottom up. Okay, so Brian uh, went into an employee onboarding for client two and that employee onboarding started on the 6th of September. Pretty good. Now that particular employee onboarding finished on the same day on the 6th of September. How do I know that? Because on the 7th of September, which is the next day, he started working on training onboarding for client number two right here. Now that particular training onboarding, which is another event, uh, ended on the 8th of February 2022, right? A couple of months from September. How do I know that? Because on the 9th of February, Brian was now working for client four um, under some event called shadow shift milestone, whatever the name of the event, that doesn't matter. So that's how you would read the data. These dates are nothing but the start of the event dates. All right, now let's just take a look at the problem that we have to solve. All right, I'm in Power BI, I have generated the output and that's what I'm expecting you to do it as well. Now the output expectation is that I should be able to pick up any particular date and take a look that on that particular date, the employee was working on what task or what event and for which client, as simple as that. So I have built the same pivot table, which is where I have the exact four columns of the data, the date, the client, the event, and the name. And I also have a date slicer, which is where I have picked up three dates for now. So I'm able to take a look at on the 7th of Feb, on the 8th of Feb, and on the 9th of Feb, on these three dates, what people of the company were working on what event for which client, as simple as that. All right, that's been it. I hope I made sense and you were able to understand the problem. The data, of course, can be downloaded underneath the video. And a couple of rules before I leave you with the problem. Rule number one is that you're free to solve this using exclusively using Power Query or DAX, or maybe a mix of both using some fancy data modeling approaches. So please feel free to just pick up any of your approaches and provide the answer. And of course, you have to put your answers or your DAX code or your M code or your combination of both in the comment section of my blog and I'm gonna pick up the best solutions and discuss those as well. And just like the way that we always do it, I'm gonna give a big shout out to everybody who participates and posts the right answer. And I'm gonna be seeing you once again with the answers very, very soon. Thanks so much, and I look forward for your participation. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.